you know, just just edit. Hi. You want me to talk from the heart, honey? Yeah. I Don't do. I always talk from the heart? Always do. Okay. Well, honey, something I heard recently that I've been meditating on is called, was titled, uh, Identity Drives Behavior. And if you think about that, that's a pretty truthful statement. Because if you look at people that, um, you know, identify themselves as victims, right? Then that, that identity as a victim causes them to whine, complain, be lethargic, um, uh, expect other people to do things for them and they just stay in the same place. Oh, they, they play the victim. Oh, well, it's their fault. I'm never going to come. Every, everybody's putting me down and, oh, you know, and it's so unfair and I can't do anything and, and they just stay there, you know, and then you see some of these people that have just come from nothing and overcome like hardcore, um, abuse and poverty and sickness and, they've overcome and, and when you hear their testimony, you know, they, they talk about their faith and they talk about how how they just knew they had a purpose and they just weren't gonna they weren't gonna give in and they weren't gonna quit and they and they 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 were gonna make it and they, they saw themselves and they identified with being victorious. They identified with being healthy. They identified with overcoming and succeeding at whatever cost. So they didn't focus on the pain and the the poverty and the the heartbreak and the betrayal they focused on that that end goal that I'm I'm an overcomer I'm and you know a lot of these people you know I'm wealthy I'm wealthy you know I'm gonna I'm gonna succeed I'm gonna change my life I'm gonna change others lives and and they see it so powerfully that they just it drives their behavior it drives their behavior right until they get that 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 that, that what they've been envisioning and they see themselves as right so you know there's there's i've just um you and i honey we've been watching videos and listen listening to uh audio and reading books about people that have overcome incredible obstacles overcome rejection and and just failure and it's so inspiring because not one person that you can see that has ever been successful hasn't has, they've suffered they've all suffered they've all lost everything they've all started off a lot of them in their cars a lot of them you know just barely knowing where they're gonna eat you know just struggling to get by and so you know I identify as a child of the king I identify as a the beloved of God I identify as an heir to the throne I'm one who is loved and one who has a purpose and and that my purpose isn't just for this this, this life and this world and my selfish gain and my ego, but my, my identity is one who has an eternal identity and what I do now affects my eternal reward and my eternal reality. So, you know, the things I do now, it's like, yeah, that's great, I wanna have an impact, but I always have eternity in mind, like, this is not, I'm just not doing this just now, but I'm doing it forever, you know, to have an eternal impact, you know, to, less people's lives why because for all of eternity I want them to enjoy God you know so anyway that's my identity that's your identity that's our identity